This one is a striped pennant dragonfly. Here we have a meadowhawk. We caught it. Um, dragonfly. This looks like it's an orange pennant. This is a grasshopper. A prey mantis. Dragonfly. Yeah. I've caught a lot of stuff. Today I caught a great spangled flurry, which is a type of butterfly that's really pretty because of the silver on the underside of them and the orange on the forewings. The focus of our camp at this point is really to talk about urban diversity, biodiversity. We're focused on caterpillars and insects, but also their natural enemies and then the plants that they're eating and, and how these are all interrelated to one another. It's a, a five-day camp uh, for 19 kids and they're just absolutely marvelous. Our routine is to go out and collect as many interesting living things as we can get. And we have the expertise between us. Ed's really good at plants. Uh, I'm pretty good at insects. And then we have Dave Wagner, who's a professor at University of Connecticut who is like the guy in Eastern North America on moths and caterpillars. So we can talk about whatever they collect. Bugs are kind of one of those things you can't live with them, you can't live without them, right? And, and so uh, the, the idea is that they're, they're really the fabric uh, by which uh, many of these uh, forests and woodlands and uh, freshwater lakes and rivers are running. We all like to you know, go off to the Amazon or go off to New Guinea, uh, but we don't have to. There's just amazing things within a mile or even a few hundred yards of your back door. And so there are kids who really want to do this, kids who haven't found probably in their schooling people who are as into bugs or plants. As an educator, what's most important to me is that I light a spark. You, you can't teach a kid everything, and so we mostly want to just open their eyes to a different world. These kids are like sponges at this age. They, 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 um, seem to soak up everything. There's one kid uh, named Matt who uh, has as much knowledge about sphinx moths as most PhD entomologists. Maybe a year from now, two years from now, he could be, he could be a world authority. We feel very fortunate and blessed to have these kids. Uh, they don't need much motivation. Uh, they're uh, totally engaged. We're, we're, we're teaching at a much higher level than we had ever imagined and uh, go home with a smile across our face every day. What interests me about insects is that they're so underappreciated and I love observing them. It's really fun because you get to see all the, the unique bugs. And I mean we've just caught plenty of stuff so I've learned a lot about what we've caught. I just like how we get to go to all the field sites and it's just really fun and you don't find too many camps like this. This is amazing camp. All of us get along well and we all learn new things and I think it's great. I think this is the best camp I've actually really gone to. It was a great experience for a lot of us. This is like the first time for this camp and it's a great experience and it's really going well. We're really uh, looking at, at 19 kids that uh, are, are totally on board and enjoying themselves and I'm enjoying myself as are the other four instructors.